Well, I am O.P. Yadav. I am the Chief Cardiac Surgeon and the Chief Executive Officer of the National Heart Institute in New Delhi. Traditionally, bypass surgery was done as an open heart procedure in which the heart used to be stopped and we used to connect the patient to the heart-lung machine, do the bypass and then restart the heart and wean off the cardiopulmonary bypass. But nowadays, we have started realizing that there were a lot of disadvantages of the heart-lung machine itself in form of the whole body inflammatory response. So one form of minimally invasive surgery is to avoid the use of the heart-lung machine and therefore off-pump surgery or beating heart surgery qualifies to be called minimally invasive surgery. The second form of invasion in bypass surgery is related to sternotomy because when we cut the sternum we find the deep sternal wound infection rates in the best of hospitals could be in the range of two to three percent and in insulin dependent diabetics they can go up to eight percent. So to avoid deep sternal wound infection as also to avoid the pulmonary complications associated with sternal instability alternative routes have been developed where small incisions are made in the third or the fourth intercostal space on either side of the chest what are called entero or entrolateral thoracotomies and bypass surgery can be performed without opening the sternum through these small incisions even these surgeries qualify to be called minimally invasive bypass surgeries. Today with advanced heart support systems, with uh, stabilizers and retractors available, even triple vessel coronary artery bypass surgery can be performed minimally invasively. However, there is a downside. The long-term results have not been documented. The angiography potency rate have as yet not standardized and therefore, to some extent, this surgery still needs validation.